This is not the church of Latter-day Saints, of Joseph Smith. This is the church of Jesus Christ. So plain and precious. Finally, the Book of Mormon is the keystone of testimony. Just as the arch crumbles, if the keystone is removed, so does all the church stand or fall with the truthfulness of the Book of Mormon. The enemies of the church understand this clearly. One of our brethren some years ago spoke of the payment of tithing as fire insurance. Nonetheless, the word of the Lord is clear that those who do not keep the commandments and observe the laws of God shall be burned at the time of his coming, for that shall be a day of judgment, a day of sifting, a day of separating the good from the evil. I would venture a personal opinion that no event has occurred in all the history of the earth as dreadful as will be the day of the second coming, as fraught with the destructive forces of nature, as consequential for the nations of the earth, as terrible for the wicked, and as wonderful for the righteous. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is losing a record number of its membership. Travis went good, so. So it was after 1.30 in the afternoon, and here I am. The cyber terrorism from Microsoft last night carried over into today. And hopefully I finally got it fixed. I was all up and ready to go this morning. It was uh, too dangerous to go running because of this iced up snow. And, uh, and so I even more red as I recognized. So I was going to remind you about last Friday, Isaiah 63 was fulfilled, Mormons. Learning of the Jews. The second vision of Joseph Smith, same thing, fulfilled on the Jewish 9-11 in their calendar. Friday, Black Friday, as I did the six-hour series about the church's bombshell of the release of the ledger. The Book of the Law of God that 
Brigham Young, yet again, forged documents to claim it was by Joseph, when in reality it was just another Danite forgery. And I uh, was going to go over Bill Maher, his episode last night. That's the thumbnail picture that I was finally allowed to make <laughs> just a, a little while ago after fixing the computer problems from hackers from Microsoft. <sighs> but, uh, yeah, his one segment from his show. Just the one segment alone. I don't even need to go to YouTube right now to check and see where his number of views are at to know that after all these years doing videos on YouTube for you, going over in detail, numerous hours, on often just one video. <laughs> Over 7,000 collective videos on YouTube. And despite all of that, covering the exact same subject matter in greater detail, going over the documents, going over the scriptures, going over the history, talking about before it happened, during it happened, and after it happened, Bill Maher dwarfed me on number of views. My channel, people want to know the information. But the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has ordered YouTube to commit a hate crime against me. This channel is all about the learning of the Jews, of Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon. And I am under full attack all these years. So you've been watching in the news about these hate crimes that are going on across our nation. That the FBI is stepping in to arrest people and charge them for federal crimes. Hate crimes. Nope, not me. They're not protecting me at all. And so what Bill Maher did not get into, despite his winning at Jeopardy, <laughs> I just covered that the other day. Just covered that. Thanks to Jasmine. That was her question. I answered her question in the comment replies. It was about that same subject. <sighs> Is that he was referring to the movie Zeitgeist where Dorothy M. Murdoch was interviewed in the movie. That was the first part of it, was going over how Christianity is a fraud. That it stole previous religions and claimed it as a brand new religion, as the one and only true religion, and turned all the previous cultures with their scriptures into literal histories to place Jesus in the Roman period time. And I've been going over with you how the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints 
is pulling the same stunt, just with non-Trinitarian Jesus instead of Trinitarian Jesus. And so it's even more abominable than Christianity's abominations with their abominable Christ. Because now, as I've been going over with you, Heavenly Father, flesh and bone, comes from outer space to the Roman period, because it's still literal history, just like Constantine turned it into, to his 14-year-old daughter, and rapes her, and then heads off back into space. not the Holy Ghost that raped Mary this time. That's abominable. When the Book of Mormon says it's in the learning of the Jews, you don't turn it Christian. That's abominable. That's anti-Semitic. When Joseph Smith in verse 19 of the first vision says Christianity and that first creed is abominable. You don't say, well, we're, we're non-Trinitarian. <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> it is worse. Is that too complicated to figure out? Well, you're confused because Joseph says the name of his church is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The forged document of section 115 proves it. <laughs> you don't do your research because the church tells you, no, don't study. <laughs> You'll become apostate. You'll leave the church if you study. It's deep doctrine. Don't do it. <laughs> Just read, ponder, and pray and get the right feeling. And you fall for it. And so you don't listen to me. I am the foremost anthropologist of the ancient Middle East. I was doing the research at the same time Dorothy was doing it way back in 1999. The same time that, uh, uh 101 Miss Gary Greenberg. It was the same time period when he was also making that same discovery. The Bible comes from the Egyptian documents. And that's what the Book of Mormon says. The Bible, in the learning of the Jews, comes from the pre-Babylonian captivity Jews, which means Egyptians. I deciphered Paleo-Hebrew in 1997. In my parents' basement in Riverton. Riverton. <laughs> and then, soon after, the wife abandoned me. Stole my research and fled the country with our two kids and one in the oven. But as a fetus, according to the 14th Amendment, Section 1, it has no rights. But that's what Bill went over, is that these Christian nationalists are overthrowing the government. I've been going over it with you. Remember? This is the church's plot. And Bill Maher got more views. <laughs> I show you the documents. He's only doing recent quotes from the people in Congress. <laughs> I told you in advance. Here it is. Here's the plot. I've even told you more that's worse than that. 
than what the Christian fundamentalist extremists in Congress are doing, even though Mormons are a part of that. He quoted from Senator Lee, <laughs> but he got it wrong. Lee was trying to say that we're a, a republic, but uh, he still believes that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints should get their kingdom back. That's why the church is working with evangelicals, Christian nationalists, with the Council for National Policy. This is what Bill Maher didn't cover. This is what I've been covering. Leonard Leo was or needs to be. I, again, I'm way behind now. My whole day has been shot because of the cyber attack on me. A hate crime against me. But yeah, deciphering Paleo-Hebrew. I had to test. So I did a vocabulary test. And I compared it with Egyptian. And that's when I recognized pattern matches of the Bible with the Egyptian documents. All in the same time period as the others who were likewise making the same discoveries. But I am the last scholar standing. I am the foremost anthropologist of the ancient Middle East. I have gone beyond what they covered. I am the one that should have a Wikipedia page. <laughs> Church won't let me. <laughs> They're already screwing it up for Joseph and the Book of Mormon. <laughs> Making sure that the lies are in there. God. It's just so frustrating. And so, yeah, he... <sighs> so, yeah, participation. I've been telling you that before, and the church still went and did it. I've warned you, YouTube shut me down and silenced me so I didn't get popular so that nobody heard me, and then the church did it. Psychology. They're the ones responsible for screwing up our nation. They're not legitimate. Their whole system is based on fallacy arguments. What they claim is a diagnosis is a fraud. It's a bullying category. You know, the bully in grade school. Hey, four eyes, he's now placed you in a category box where you're four eyes. That's your diagnosis. And so he then treats you according to your diagnosis of having four eyes. And you have to pay up. You have to accept that you're four eyes. Because he repeats it over and over and over and over again. You must accept it. And if you don't accept it, you're in denial that you are. <laughs> and you have to pay up. He threatens you to pay up. Or he beats you up. This is psychology. It's an exact pattern match. That's why I made this list and I'm going over it with you over and over again. They just keep changing what it's called because bullies pick up on it. 
and they use it. And so, special? Are you special? It means the same thing as retarded. <laughs> it's the same meaning as mentally health challenged. You're retarded. You're diseased. You're ill. Disabled. It's all the same thing to them. And so they got into our grade schools across this nation. And we're putting these bullying categories on your kids and your grandkids. And they force the schools to stop testing, stop grading, and do participation. And so all these graduates participated in high school. No GPA, because testing was too stressful. <laughs> and they go out into the work field. They're stupid. They just participated. They're not intelligent. They don't know the subject matter. And now TikTok is doing what Facebook did to the 2016 election, which the church was involved in through that Council for National Policy. As TikTok is now telling these little teens that Israel needs to be exterminated. And so the church last night does it to Mormonism. No longer do you need to be intelligent about Mormonism. You just need to participate. And they're accepting all money. So that if you can't pay a full tithe, that's okay. Just give us everything you can. <laughs> You're participating. And you don't see the bigger picture. It's not just a financial scam. It has an ultimate goal. And it's tied to the ledger. I just, I need Bill Maher to watch my videos, I guess, so that he can do his show based upon my videos so that people will listen. I mean, Mormons read scriptures. It says you need to get intelligence. Just have to participate. Read, ponder, pray, get the right feeling. You've participated. And so, yeah, they know that this is a threat to America. National security threat. And the church is behind it, and they're far worse and these fundamentalists far worse than Islam with their rising coup over the whole world using Israel as the as the focus to sacrifice the Gazans so that the rest of Islam around the world can destroy the whole earth so the battle of 2.2 billion Christians versus 1.8 billion Islamists, Armageddon. And they both have the wrong interpretation of the Jewish scriptures. Excuse me? What is that? I'm being attacked again. Oh, crap. <laughs>